Chevy's making some of the hottest EVs on the market. So hot, they're catching on fire. It looks like every car manufacturer wants to move to electric cars. Well, maybe they're forced to move to electric cars with all these stupid cafe laws out there. If you're not familiar with cafe law, this is what it stands for. And it basically states that manufacturers have to increase their fuel efficiency on their cars by 2025. The most recent fuel efficiency study states that cars have to get over 54 miles per gallon. And all these cafe laws have to be done by the year 2025. So they don't have much time. And obviously the best way to do that is eliminate gas engines. In theory, this is really good, but I just did a video on online retailers trying to eliminate dealerships. Well, they're running into all sorts of issues with just doing online sales. It's basically the same concept. Engineers do an amazing job with these great theories, but until they put these cars in real world scenarios and real world drivers, that's when they find the real problems. We can go backwards and see this stuff happening in real time. 2016, we had the big Samsung Galaxy Galaxy 7 debacle. Samsung is in a disastrous situation. Where you couldn't even take your cell phones on an airplane. And in 2021, we got the Chevy Bolt, the Hyundai Kona, the Teslas, they're all catching on fire. In this video, we're gonna talk about the fire hazards on the Chevy Bolt and other electric cars, what to do to protect yourself, and what to do in the event that you're just too scared to own one of these cars. <laughs> Now I've owned two electric vehicles in the past and the editor of my channel has a Chevy Bolt EUV as well. And if you wanna see the shenanigans I do with my electric vehicle and the other cars that we own, you can check out my channel, Chevy Dude Extra. And if you wanna get more tips on those, you can check out his channel, Mets Tech, which I've linked in the description below. But let's talk about these fire hazards GM is experiencing. GM states that a node tab and a separator in the battery pack is what's causing these fires. The research that I've done, this is happening during the manufacturing process of the vehicle or the battery. I'm getting mixed communications on that. And it's basically just something that nobody anticipated with these little tabs getting ripped or bent over. I'm not an engineer, but a lot of you guys are who watch this channel. And it appears that a lot of this stuff is happening from simply charging the vehicles at high rates. Tesla's experienced this exact same thing with their mobile chargers at home with them overheating. Basically, the high level of currency going through the chargers is overheated stuff, and if the consumer doesn't catch this quick enough, it couldn't cause a fire. I personally have experienced this. These are pictures of my Tesla cord almost catching on fire, but luckily, the app that Tesla uses to charge your car gave us the notification. We immediately went out to the garage to check on it, and we caught the issue. The cord was extremely hot when we took it out, we inspected it and you see that it was melted. Thank goodness we caught it because that could have been a major disaster. So due to this fire hazard, GM has actually put a stop sell on all new and used Chevy Bolts. GM's plan is to completely replace the entire battery module with every single bolt they've ever made. And the good news at the time of this recording, LG has actually started reproducing the entire battery pack so that they can start getting these warranty claims done. But like with anything in life, you're gonna have to have some patience. Patience is a virtue because this is going to take a long time. The time to replace one of these battery packs looks like it's gonna take 13 to 14 hours. Not to mention you're gonna to have to set an appointment with your local Chevy dealership, have them write a repair order so that way they can get the battery coming from General Motors. Then once the battery is shipped to the dealership, you're gonna to have to come back and get this done. When you do the math on this, we're talking 175 person years in order to complete this project. It's a huge deal. And like I said, it's gonna take a lot of patience. In the meantime, this is what General Motors is telling you to do in order to protect yourself. GM says that you wanna make sure that you set your charging rate to 90%. And as an electric car owner, you should actually never charge over 80% on your daily driving. You only wanna charge above 80% if you're going on a long trip. And just so you know how this is done, you wanna to come to the home screen and either hit this energy button or this energy button down here. You wanna to go to charging and right here is your level of what you're doing. So this would be 90% there, this would be 80% there, and you wanna keep it at 80% or lower, even though GM's doing 90%. This is gonna be good for 
future battery life as well. GM also puts these on their website how to do it. And you can certainly go to a Chevy dealership and have someone there help you as well. But what I just showed you is the easiest way to explain it. And then most importantly, you wanna make sure that you've done all the updates on the car. Now, Chevrolet has pushed all updates over the air. So there's no reason to come to the Chevy dealership to get this done. All you have to do is go into the update section of your radio, which is in the settings section and get it done. It's very simple. The next thing GM wants you to do is charge more frequently. Now, this is something a professional or novice electric car owner already does anyways. We always charge our car every single day. And most importantly, you do not want to take this under 70 miles of range left, if at all possible. And then when you get done charging your car, you want to make sure that you pull it outside immediately immediately. Do not leave it parked indoors overnight. Do not charge your vehicle overnight and make sure that you're more than 50 feet away from everything around you. Other cars, houses, everything. Electric cars are still very new on the market and there's a lot of unknowns. So if you currently own one and you're scared to continue to own it, not an issue. Chevy D's got you. This is exactly what you need to do. First and foremost, you can sell this privately. You can use Facebook Marketplace. You can load it up on yourself on Car Gurus. There is still a huge market for people wanting to buy these cars. So don't listen to anyone on the internet saying that it's a bad idea to try to sell this privately because these are still very hot cars. I see what you did there. Puns. They're very sought after and they're still bringing a high dollar amount of money when you're selling it privately. When you're selling a vehicle, you obviously have to go find another one to drive. So you can certainly trade it into any dealership of your choice. Now, you got to be a little leery with Chevy and GM dealerships because we are not allowed to sell these things. We're not allowed to test drive these things. They have to go on the back lot and the recall has to be repaired before we're allowed to sell it per GM's dealer agreement. But that's not the case if you go to a Nissan store or a Ford store or any other non General Motors franchise franchise, they don't have those rules. So trading in may be the best bet for you. The third way is you can just sell it to a dealer. Dealerships all over the country are buying cars. And of course we know CarMax, Carvana, Broom, they're just giving you money for your cars. So unlike a Chevy dealership, every manufacturer out there is letting you sell these cars with no problem. So selling it to a dealership, you probably wanna go away from GM, but obviously GM dealerships definitely want these vehicles, so check there as well. The fourth way to get rid of your car if you're scared to own it is simply do the Lemon Law buyback process through the manufacturer. GM is doing those. I see them happening every day in the Bolt communities that I'm in, but it's a long, long, long process. Did I say long enough? It's extremely long. It's extremely painful, but they'll tell you right up front exactly how much money you're getting. So it may be easier to do one of the other three things. According to a recent Car and Driver article, the Bolt is the number three most selling EV in the nation. And there's a reason for that. We make the best EVs on the market, even better than Tesla. But we need to step up our game with one thing. And I know Chevrolet watches my channel and I wanna work with Chevrolet on a much broader spectrum. This vehicle right here, we need to make it electric. We make this car right here electric. Don't change a thing. We don't change the grill. We don't change a thing on this car and make it electric. We are gonna dominate the electric car market.